Welcome back, guys. As promised earlier, I will be solving uh, absolute value compound inequality using a distance method. As we learned before in class, this right here, guys, could be read as a distance from 2 and make sure that this value is always negative and make sure that there is no coefficient other than 1 in front of x. If that is achieved, we could say that the distance from 2. Now, let's read the inequality. According to this, my distance is bigger than or equal to 1, and it is less than 3. Think carefully, guys. So what that means, literally, is on a number line, it starts from 2, going in the right direction, my distance has to be bigger than 1. That distance 1 is over here, and that would be including that going further than that, right? And that will be 3. But it has to be less than 3. From here, that's a 3. And 3 right up to is 5. So it has to be in between those two, right? And let's go the other way. Looking in this direction, to the left, my distance has to be bigger than or equal to 2. So go 1 in that direction gives you 1 over here, including that. I'll go outside of that. But my distance at the same time has to be less than 3. The 3 is over here. 3 left of 2 is negative 1, not including. So it's between those two values. So if we were to state that in a set notation, negative 1 is less than x which is less than or equal to 1, because there's a gap in the middle, we say or 3 is less than or equal to x, less than 5, and we're done. Now, instead of dealing with this question in terms of a number line, Let's assume that this is, is called f of x, let's call this the g of x, and let's call this the h of x. Once again, this is a slightly more advanced technique, and this is, I'm offering this as an option to those who feel comfortable with this. Now, let's think about this for a second, guys. The g of x, whatever that may be, is between 1 and 3. If you draw a picture like this, this f of x, guys, is basically y is equal to 1, here. y is equal to 1. It's greater than or equal to that. So it's above this right here. It's above that. But it has to be less than 3. So that's 1, 2, 3. Because it has to be less than 3, I'm going to draw a dotted line. y is 3. And for me, I want to open circle going down this way. That's a 3, and that's a 1. Now, let's consider this. So basically, I want to consider the graph of this that is between the y value of 1, including 1, but less than 3. If you remember graphing from this, for those of you who don't, it might be a tad bit difficult, but if you knew how to graph this thing, that is a V-shape, as you could remember, uh, and its vertex will be at 2, right? Because if x was 2, its overall value would be 0, and that's the lowest value that you could have right there. And as you go to the right, it increases by slope of 1, because if that was 3, my y value would be 1. If, if x value was 1, absolute value of negative 1 is 1, so height will be here and it will go through that. So if you connect the line, and exit the idea this way, and this way, all I want to consider is, is between these two. So it's open circle over here, close circle over here, and I want these right here, guys. Right? Close circle, that's dotted line, so open circle. I want these. Those are the ones that meet this condition. But I don't really care about the y values, I care about the x value, such that, okay, I'm sorry, 
we want to find the value of x such that this is true, right? And those values are right there, as you could see. Well, this right here, equation is equal to y is equal to x minus 2. This one over here is negative x plus 2. So the intersection between that and this, y equal to 1, right here, if you solve for that, is 3. And y here is 3, so plug it in, that'll be 5. It's open circle. Goes this way, guys. Okay? Looking at it, that's 1. Let's double check. This y equal to 1 intersects with y is equal to negative x plus 2. If y is 1 and you solve for that, x would have to be 1. That's correct. So I want to know what that is when that is 3. So 3 is equal to minus x plus 2. x would have to be negative 1. So this value is negative 1 right here, guys. So it's between that value, including that. So my answer, therefore, is I want the what's in the x-axis right there, which is negative 1 is less than x less than or equal to 1, or anytime there's a gap, it's an or, 3 less than or equal to x, less than 5, and there you go. So if, you, well, if I were to scroll this up a little bit, you will find that the answer is indeed the same. So in some ways, you could see this. Uh, this is more advanced technique. And what we saw earlier is essentially the shadow projection of this right here onto the x-axis, okay? If you feel comfortable, go right ahead using this.